So underway now, I'm not sure if we've got a pacer in this one, but the pace is on right from the start. Who needs a pacer when the boys just really launch out beautifully? I reckon Nicholas Martin might be taking the lead out there. McLeod seems to be present early as well as they start to settle that pace. And DJ and Gesbra Celesi, the Tasmanian represented Australia at the World Half Marathon Champs back in 2017 in Valencia. And it's good to see DJ here at the Tom Kelly track in the Sandy Bay colours from Tasmania, I believe. But out front, Martin leads it, but this is bunched. Murray to the outside. We've also got Tickle running in the Bendigo uniform, not the South Bendigo uniform, makes my job a lot harder. Sam Alberson up there as well. Also Anderson, but they're all in it at the moment. Savile Bentley looking good at the back of the field. Also Granger. The two Chilwell boys running side by side at the moment as unfortunately that breeze comes back into the Tom Kelly track here as they go through in about 62 the first lap. Caden Murray takes the lead. So Murray leading. Looks like Tickle might be sitting in next position. Martin's on the rails. Alberson just to the outside of him. So a lot of moves already taking place in this race. As you see, Caden Murray, once again, a bit of a breakthrough last week. Oh, sorry, a good solid run at the Box Hill Classic. Tickle also taking a Bendigo Regional record last week at the Box Hill track. So we know a lot of these boys are in form. Another one of those in form, certainly, is Ben Stevens. We saw another big run from him and now we see DJ and Gebra Celesi settled early at the back of the pack and now we're seeing Gebra Celesi in that blue uniform just making his way through now into fourth position, make that third position, make that second position and now he's in the lead. So Gebra Celesi has really launched forward. It's going to be interesting to see who goes with him and gee it's Barton Leeton. Barton Leeton the Scotch runner, he's the one who's tried to answer that charge from DJ and Gebra Celesi. Uh, it was a nice early break there from Gebra Celesi too. Don't often see a break that early in a race, but he's just trying to go away with it now. So Leeton and also Tickle just trying to chase. It probably has upset the rhythm a little bit as we're seeing a few of the runners just starting to drop back through the field. So Gebra Celesi hits the 1K in 2.38. Leeton now chasing him. This was an interesting move because I think it has thrown a cat among the pigeons and I didn't know what, how to respond or how to react and there's been a few casualties as a result. But Gebra Cersei hits the bell, 2.55, Leeton in next position, then Tickle, Martin, McLeod, Stevens working through, also going nicely at the moment is Sprunt. But out the front, there's no stopping DJ and Gebra Cersei. As I said, he's worn the green and gold at the World Half Marathon Champs. This guy knows how to run, and it's good to see him back in Victoria in the Sandy Bay uniform and going so well. But gee, Bart Leeton is fighting on beautifully. This wind is still coming up and down. We're getting some pretty strong gusts down here, but that's not stopping Bart Leeton or DJ and Gebra Celesi. It looks like McLeod's starting to put it in now as well. He's working, but Martin's leading that pack through. I think Tickle just to the outside of him. So they're all fighting now for these times into the home straight. Let's get on the track and support the guys. Great to see people on the track and really charging home. Stevens coming through strongly. So it's DJ and Gebra Celesi. He's going to take the win. Bart Leeton's going to be on a big time here. Then Stevens as well. So DJ takes it. Bart, four minutes now. Tickle, McLeod also through there. Boy, oh boy, hard to call, but Tiemens was right up there. But a big, big run. DJ and Gebra Celesi brings his personality, brings his flair.